Hi, it's Dr. Raley. Tonight, video blog on fever. This is a long overdue video blog, and I hope everyone finds this useful. First of all, fever is nothing to be worried about unless you have a newborn. All right, so this probably brings more people into my office than any other visit, more phone calls, more worried moms, more worried grandmothers than anything else than the fever. So let's begin. First of all, fever is just the body's response, an appropriate response, to either a viral back, excuse me, a viral infection, which is 95% of the time, or a bacterial infection, and that's what you need to worry about, are the bacterial infections. So let's kind of start with fever and the child. What age of my child should I worry about who has a fever? Rule of thumb, if you have a child under two months of age, so a baby, who has a fever, I don't care, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, if your baby has a fever or a temperature greater than 101 Fahrenheit, and let's see, how do you want to take that temperature? My favorite way now is with the temporal artery thermometer. That's the one where you get and you go across the forehead like that. I think that's the most accurate. It's certainly more accurate than axillary in a baby, more accurate than the uh, ear thermometer. So two choices are either the temporal artery thermometer, scanner, or the rectal temperature. So here's what I want you to do. Whatever the temperature reads on the thermometer, that's the temperature we need to worry about. Don't try to remember to add a degree, subtract a degree. If that's what it reads, that's what it is. So temperature of 101 or greater in a baby less than two months, you need to call me, okay? And in fact, why don't we make that a temperature of 100 or greater in a baby under two months? Once you get from two months to six months, I'm a little more tolerant of fever. You know, if it's 102 or 103 in that age group, I still think you ought to call me probably about 24 hours a day. Now, six months and older, certainly can tolerate a lot higher fever, all right? And you get to two years, three years, I can tolerate 103 fever for two to three days, all right? So here's, here's what I want you to do. You have a baby six months from two years, any fever less than 102, certainly okay to give them a dose of Tylenol or Motrin, and then you guys can either uh, call me that day or you can call me the next day, all right? Under six months, Tylenol only, over six months, I recommend Motrin for fever. Dose of uh, Tylenol and Motrin are both on my website, so check it out. So remember, under six months, Tylenol, over six months, Motrin, Advil, or Ibuprofen. Those are all the same. And when I talk about Tylenol, I also mean acetaminophen, all right? And so there's the infant Tylenol drops, and uh, in the Motrin there, what I would use for under six months, I would use the infant Tylenol drops. And then over six months, I would use uh, Advil, Ibuprofen, or Motrin and use the children's formulation, not the infant, but the children's. Look on the website for the correct dosage. Okay, so why does my baby have, or why does my child have a fever? Most of the time it's a virus, all right? Sometimes it is a bacterial infection, but it's, it's hard to know. And the thing that everyone is scared about is, is fever going to harm my child? Is my child going to get brain damage from fever? No way. What the problem is, and what people have heard in the past, is that someone has a fever at 104, 105, and they get brain damage because of the temperature or the fever. That's not the case. Maybe these kids that we've heard about from our grandparents and our parents who had that high of fever have had brain damage, probably because they have had meningitis, which has caused the fever that high. Meningitis is inflammation of the spinal fluid and uh, the uh, covering of the brain, and that is very, very serious. But I doubt it was the fever itself that caused the brain damage. Now, you can certainly, on a hot summer day, um, there is a potential to get heat stroke, and that can cause some serious brain injury, but not fever itself from a uh, bacterial or viral illness, all right? So let's hopefully keep that straight, that fever within itself does not cause brain damage. Now, 
Sometimes fever can cause seizures in kids, and I would say between 0.5 and 1% of all kids in my practice with the onset of a high fever have had a seizure, all right? And so if you're watching this and your child has had a seizure with a fever, you understand what I'm talking about, but it's still very rare, okay? So what to do if my child has a fever under two months? Call me from two to six months. It's okay to give a dose of the uh, Tylenol and see what happens. If the fever persists, please call the office. Over six months, give a dose of Motrin and let's see what happens over the next four to six hours. Please don't hesitate to call the office at any point. And remember what I've told a lot of you all, and you'll see this on my website, that the most important thing is not necessarily the height of the fever, meaning that if you have a one-year-old baby with a 103 fever who's cooling and babbling and talking and running around the house, that's not as big a concern as a three-year-old who has a temperature of 100 degrees and you can't get him off the couch and uh, he seems to be lethargic and unresponsive. All right, so that is certainly an emergency. All right, so please, if your child has a fever, remember, most of the time it's a virus. It's okay to give them some Tylenol if they're from two months to six months, Motrin from six months on. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to call the office, 398-7170, and by all means, please check out the website at brianreillymd.com. Thanks and have a good night.